I am a math teacher, but I'm not a traditional one. I learned in an environment where a procedure was status quo and you followed the order of operations. When I teach now, I substitute routine with novelty. I strive to model a love of learning through hands-on experiences by bringing more color to an otherwise two-tone classroom. I apply my personal affinity for the arts to my teaching, especially in my geometry lessons, where the students can clearly witness the connection between math and art. I believe that I have found a potential solution to revamp math and science education, the Rubik's Cube. For some, math represents an intriguing collection of numbers and letters combined to make formulas and solve equations. For others, math is a topic that brings up anxiety and discomfort and can often create a barrier between the problem solver and the problems being solved. I'm here to share that this puzzle in my hand, this Rubik's Cube, can serve as a link between art and the STEM topics of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Without prior experience with the Rubik's Cube, you may say that you need to peel the stickers off or watch an online tutorial in order to solve it. But what if I only asked you to solve just one face? Maybe you'd be a little bit more confident just like my students were when I asked them to attempt the same task last fall. In teaching an elective course focused on the Rubik's Cube, art, and diversity, I was able to pique my pupils' interest enough for them to see that math and art can be taught in harmony. Many of the students enrolled in the course expressed an apathy for math. At the beginning of the term, I implored my students to give me just 50 minutes to prove to them that math can be very exciting when we look at it through the lens of art. Before offering this elective, I had been implementing a typical STEM-based curriculum where science, technology, and engineering came through my math lessons. I realized quickly that in order to reach my own students, I needed to provide an avenue where they were able to see that math and art were easily connected. I determined that the method to solve this problem was through the Rubik's Cube. Initially, my students were apprehensive. They claimed that they were unable to twist the cube much without making any progress. This reaction caused me to ask myself, why? Why are these students afraid of math? Why are they intimidated? And what can I do as their teacher to show that math can be a little bit more enjoyable? In starting this interdisciplinary elective, I was able to show them how to create mosaics of Anne Frank, Albert Einstein, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and other historical figures, not just to show that there's a lot of diversity in our world, but to help them build other skills like perseverance, critical thinking, and attention to detail, all of which are necessary to be successful in math and science. In the beginning, the students' attitudes were less than enthusiastic. Some of them were looking for a class that didn't focus much on math or science. I, as their instructor, however, was seeking an opportunity to convince them that math and science were very much connected. I began by demonstrating how to solve the first face of the Rubik's Cube. After finding the center, one must create a cross and then orient the corner cubes correctly. There's no additional steps necessary in order to participate and build these mosaics. By the end of the first day of class, I heard them saying, I got this, and now I think I see a pattern. 
And how did I motivate these students to take the first step? I provided them with an artistic group project where they were able to build these mosaics together as a team towards a common objective. I believe my pupils enjoyed working together and forming these images because there was a tangible end game building these mosaics. They never asked once, when will I ever use this? <laughs> but instead, they persevered towards the final objective of solving the cube and building these mosaics together. Since 2013, there's been an active push by the United States Congress to integrate art into the STEM educational programs to create STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. These members of Congress acknowledged the importance of creativity in order to have scientific innovation. Although the Rubik's Cube has not been mentioned officially as a tool to achieve this result, I believe it can help educators inspire their students to engage more in math and science classes. But can the Rubik's Cube change students' attitudes towards learning? Is it possible to undo the negative experiences with math in order to build up an enthusiasm for STEM disciplines? Could we show our young artists how rewarding it can be to problem solve, think critically, and otherwise contribute to all fields of science? My goal for subsequent courses like this one is to include more mathematical applications and help my students see the connection between solving the cube and solving equations. Those with interest in liberal arts and humanities must be given an invitation so that they can serve alongside scientists and mathematicians so they all may work together to attempt to solve the greatest problems facing our world today. Perhaps the Rubik's Cube can serve as a tool in order to make this happen. With the Rubik's Cube, let us push full steam ahead. Thank you.